it's a particularly interesting time in the U.S.-India relationship because you know we've seen over the past few years a uh, tremendous amount of interest, uh, a certain degree of hype about the U.S.-India relationship and what it really means for uh, the future of Asia. And at the same time, over the past year, there have been a series of what both sides would describe as uh, minor disappointments and setbacks. And I think that sort of uh, raises a question that hasn't been raised in Washington for a few years, which is where exactly is this relationship headed and is it about to fulfill its potential or not? We're going to be talking about the commercial relationship and whether the business ties are going to achieve their potential. We're going to be talking about a slowdown in U.S.-India defense ties. We're going to talk about the idea of non-alignment in New Delhi and whether this idea of a non-alignment or strategic autonomy, as Indian strategic thinkers put it, uh, what that means for the U.S.-India relationship. And of course, we're going to talk about hot-button issues that are in the news right now, such as India-Iran relations, how that affects the U.S., and also the recent uh, reward put on the lashkar e taiba leader, Hafiz Mohammad Saeed, and what that means for India, Pakistan, the U.S., and the region. The implications of this are quite vast. You know, India is, of course, the world's largest democracy. It's the world's second most populous country after China. It's the world's second fastest growing major economy. And I think getting this relationship, most people in, uh, who, who look at Asia uh, understand that getting this relationship matters. It matters both for the U.S and for India. And so if there are going to be speed bumps along the way, I think we're better off understanding them and figuring out ways to negotiate them in order to have a clearer picture of where this relationship is and where it's headed.